Hello guys, this is Iwan Vosplum and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to set up a new project for 32-bit and 64-bit. Uh, so we go to File, New and Project. Just going to select an empty project and click Next. I'm going to name this uh, init SDL 2.0. And we're gonna rename this one to 32 bit as well here. In the end there, click next. Here we're gonna change a few things. We're gonna have uh, an output directory for 32 bit, the 32 bit version and an output directory for the uh, debugs here. And in the release, we're gonna put it in, in bin 32 here as well. And release 32 bit like so. So when you start here, usually there's uh, another default uh, setup here for like uh, obg uh, backslash debug and the output uh, folder is usually just going to be bin. But we will have a setup like this. Next. So uh, let's add a file to this as well. Uh, click there. Empty file, you empty file, yes, I want to add this to the project. Right click and new folder for the source. I'm going to put all the source files in its own folder here. And we can just call it main.c. Like so. And you're just going to write the uh, hello world program basically here. Main. So, and uh, just a printf. Hello world. And return zero. So, you have something to build, and we click on build here. We get some warnings here because I've turned on. Uh, if you go to com settings and compiler here, and for the default for, for the GNU GCC compiler, I've set up uh, some defaults here as well. So we have uh, that we produce debugging symbols right here. We enable all common compiler warnings and the extra enable compiler warnings as well to get uh, even more things going on. And we check if a local variable shadows another local variable. And also here, if we are missing a default switch, and a, sorry, a default case and a switch. So that's what I have enabled there for that one. I'm just gonna press cancel here. So let's go and bring up our folder here. So as you can see now, we have a bin 32 bit folder here. So if I click there, the program's gonna run and immediately close. <laughs> so let's go build and run here. And we see hello world there. So we have our exe files here and we have the object files are being stored here. Uh, the source folder here as well so now the xe file it doesn't really tell you if it's a re re release or if it's a debug version so we can go to project and we click on properties build targets and here we have debug and release here so we're going to change the xe file here to debug like so and we're going to change the execution directory here to the bin32 folder here so uh, we want to run the the active file inside this folder here instead yes we're gonna keep it as a relative path and we're gonna do the same thing for the release here I'm gonna put it in the bin32 folder here click OK yes keep it as a relative path and click OK so if you go back here to the drive here and the code and we click on here and delete this file for now and we're gonna build again and try to decide here build and as you can see now we it's named debug and if we change here to uh, build select target then the release 
build and run and we can build we have built the release version as you can see the release version is a lot smaller than uh, the debug version here because this contains a lot of debugging symbols and stuff like that and we're also going to click right click here and we're going to click on properties here i'm going to rename this to 32 bit as well click ok because now we know that this is a 32 bit project so we don't have to guess <laughs> between the projects. So let's go file and we create the 32 bit project as well. And we're not gonna create the project in here. We're gonna delete that to make sure that it, we, it will uh, land in the same folder. And we name this to 64 bit because we want the, we want to have two different ones there. 32-bit one and the 64-bit uh, project files. We click on next, and now we have to change the uh, the new compiler from the 32-bit version to the 64-bit version that we created earlier on in the previous tutorial, and we will rename this to 64-bit. Like so, and click finish. If you look inside the folder here, we have the 64 bit and the 32 bit here as well now. And we're going to right click here, properties, and rename this to 64 bit. And uh, we are going to go to build targets here and do the same thing here with the exe files. This is the debug. And this is the release here. Now I have a, I have not built yet, so I don't have the folder. So we're gonna come back here really soon. So we're just gonna go and add the files here. Add files, source, and the main file. And we build the project. If you go and check here now, we have STL and bin 64 bit. And we have the release file there. And if we just same thing here, you can select the debug and click build, just to make sure that we have named the files correctly. And we have, we have the release build and the debug build. Good. Now we're gonna go back there to the properties. You can either right click here and select properties, or you can go from project and properties, it's the same thing. And we click on build target here, and now we're gonna select the output folder for the XE file is going to be the bin 64 bit folder for the debug XE and for the release as well. Yes, please. And you click OK. So, this is how you set up the 64 bit project. In the next tutorial, we are going to uh, write a uh, simple initialization for SDL and to have like a blue screen show so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial bye bye